Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a typing text effect like this in Premiere. So once we are in Premiere Pro, all we need to do is to get our text, make sure everything is set up. We need to get our text. And in this case, I want to use a paragraph. So it's going to be three lines. So just go ahead and then just locate whatever text you want to use. So for the purpose of this, let me just copy a text and I'm actually going to go and repeat the same text for all. So just select your typing tool and then type your text right there. You can type or paste. So I have my own here. I don't want to waste time. So I'll go ahead and then just paste my text right here. Okay, so I have my text here. I needed the same text for the next one. What I want to do is I want to copy and paste, but make sure you deselect the first one before you paste the second one. We want to have them separated. Okay, so paste the next one here and I'm actually going to resize this again. I'm going to resize this. Okay, so let me just reposition this. So you can see this also have been created separately. And then I'm actually going to do this again for the last time. I need to make sure nothing is selected before doing that. Select my type 2 and then paste the last one here right here. And then resize this. I'm just going to resize this. I'm just going to resize this and that is it i have my text ready and then now we're going to go ahead and then animate it so we want to animate this now so what we're going to do is that let's select everything now and then go to the effect control just go to the effect control and then search for crop and then drag it on top okay that is all we want now we want to actually animate this and then to do that let's first select our first text and then we'll go to the effect control and we want this to actually disappear let's first make sure we turn off the other two and then leave the first one okay so we are dealing with the first one here and then just make sure you go to the beginning of the text and then make sure this text disappears so select right and then make sure you disappear make this text disappear so i'll just increase the percentage to whatever i want and this text will disappear drag a bit forward let's drag a bit forward and then go back and then reset this to zero so it's going to make our text to appear now so that's our first text now we want to bring our second text and our second text will appear when exactly where this one ends so when this one finishes typing then the next one will follow okay so you see this is where it's going to end so we need to make sure the second text will begin from there so let's make the second text active now now where we are at the moment we are actually going to make the text disappear first okay so we are actually going to make this disappear I'm going to make this text disappear now and then just move just move this a bit forward let's move this a bit forward and then just reset this back to zero so we have our text appear right here now if we want to add the next one let's make sure we enable the next one i'm going to select this that's the last last text and what we want to do is we actually want it to disappear again from here so select right and then let's increase till the last text disappear okay we actually want it to appear where exactly this one will end so now we move it a bit forward and then we reset this back to zero so now if you go back and we decide to play this let's see how this is going to play out so you can see this one first play where's the end and then the next one will continue the next one will continue and this one will follow like that so we've been able to achieve that result so we have several lines of text that is the same process you follow to achieve this so let's play this again the first line will come where it ends then the next one will continue in that order basically if you want this to move faster you just have to close the space between your anchor points so that is how to create a type a typing text fit using adobe premiere Pro. remember to like subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to turn on post notification if you are cool with this you can add music to the background you can actually go ahead and then even export this basically this is how to go about it like subscribe for more video tutorials till i come away again bye bye